Hey, what's up everybody? It's Brian here. It's Friday, which means we have another five minute After Effects tutorial coming your way. This week, I'm gonna show you guys how to do this effect right here. Before we begin, I'm offering this footage right now in the description below for free for you guys. I shot it, it's my own personal footage, and I'm giving you guys permission here to use it for this tutorial and whatever you wanna use it for. So let's get started, let's put five minutes on the clock right now. All right, so we're in After Effects now. Let's go to get started by starting a new composition. Let's call this 3D Camera Track. Close all this up, let's stay organized. I actually wanna bring the footage into here. Um, you'll notice right off the bat that my composition settings are set to 4K, it's okay, but if your computer starts chugging because you're not able to keep up, feel free to decompose your footage down to 1080. It's really easy to do. You just render it out in 1080 and then bring it in. Uh, I don't need this amount of footage though, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, some, just, I just want some nice movement with the truck, like so. Let's go ahead and trim, um, to work area. The next thing I want to do is I want to duplicate the footage. Let's hide it try it away that way we always have a footage to use come over here to your tracking menu if you don't have it up go to window all the way down here to tracker and i want to track the camera now this is going to take a few moments so let's go ahead and pause this tutorial and i'll be back in a few seconds all right we're back the camera just finished solving um i just used the basic 3d camera tracker didn't do anything fancy so i'm just gonna come over here i'm just gonna right click i want to add a solid and a camera we actually don't need this solid but what i do need is the position information so let's go ahead and hide this solid for now and I want to start by creating text. Let's just say text here. Uh, blue is fine, but uh, I want to switch this to 3D. Hit S for scale. Let's scale this way up. Uh, let's also hit the P tool on that solid. Let's go ahead and copy it by just hitting Control C on the position of the track solid and moving it over to the text. There we go, like so. Uh, you'll notice I need to scale even way, 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 way up. Now, I don't want to move in Z space, but it's okay to move in X on the X axis. So slide this over and then I'm gonna hit the R tool for rotation and I want to rotate on the x-axis backwards zoom in here so we can see what we're doing uh, I think like negative uh, 55 here is what about what I came up to and I just use the appropriate rotations here to get this right this might take you a little bit obviously I do this a lot so it's not as complex for me but just get a handle on your rotation on rotating on your axis you don't want to rotate all at the same time this is good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the track. Pretty baller. Truck goes right over it. We'll fix that here in a few. I want to duplicate this text and uh, let's double click that text layer and let's name this one tracked. Cool. Let's change this color though. I want to go to a yellow color, but more orange. That's perfect. Let's hide it for now. I want to create a new solid. Switch this one to 3D. Color does not matter. Let's actually name it matte. Oh, one. Uh, and then I'm going to come over here to my text layer. I'm going to hit the, the P key, go on copy, hit the P key on the matte layer. Let's do the same. Paste it there. Let's go ahead and scale this up. I want to come over here to the rotation tools. Let's highlight X, Y, and Z. Control C, R, do the same. Cool. So we want this to rest right on top. I have to go up a little bit on the Y axis. That's fine. This is going to be our mat. Let's go ahead and duplicate it. Let's hide one of them above the text layer and i'm going to come out here let's say frame 13. i'm going to create a mask by coming up here to the rectangle tool and i'm going to double click it i'm going to hit m for mask so it just brings up just the path Set a keyframe let's go over a little bit i'm going to drag these two ends hard to see or like so let's turn on motion blur motion blur on that as well that looks pretty good for now and then i'm going to come over here to my track mat on my text layer i'm going to set it to alpha then I want to duplicate this magenta solid and I'm going to nudge it over one frame and then drag out so that it's zeroed out here. And then I'm going to do the same over here, but this time I'm going to hit alpha inverted mat, turn this layer on. And what's going to happen now is it's going to switch to track. Now, the next effect I want to add is I want to duplicate the bottom, bring it to the top. We're going to rotoscope the truck back in. What I want to do is I actually want to hide this layer. Uh, let's get it to where the truck is about to hit the D hit. G for mask. Uh, and then on this layer, make sure you're on the top layer. Let's go ahead and draw our first shape on this car. Now the way I roto, I don't roto with one big shape around it. I keep my shape simple. And thankfully, this shot is very linear and there's not a lot of movement. So what I'm about to do is gonna be very simple and easy. Okay. Let's create another mask, this one for the cab. 
for one wheel. Very blurry, but it's okay. We're going to feather this out. Nice and soft matte. It's moving. We're also going to motion blur. Okay, let's go in and hit MM twice. I'm going to hit Control A on mask one. I'm also going to come over here to the feather and let's go to three. Cool. I'll just click somewhere else to get rid of the selection. And let's go all the way forward till the car is on the other side of the T, like so. And then what we're going to do now is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to move my masks one by one individually over. Okay. The biggest mistake I see a lot of new artists make when they're doing their, they're animating their mask or doing rotoscope for the first time is they will go in and go frame by frame or, you know, every couple of frames, you know, you don't want to go every frame. Maybe they saw a tutorial and says, hey, don't do every frame. And that's a good advice. But if you have motion like this, it's very linear. Go to the start point and then the end point and then work your way in between by keyframing. Um, this is a tool that's used very often by animators. It's nothing new. You know, Walt Disney did it. Um, when they were animating for the, the early like Snow White and early cartoons, you do keyframes and then you go in between, you do your in-betweens and your breakdowns until you get an animation that it, it looks like what you envisioned, right? So that's pretty much how I rotoscope. I try to rotoscope to an, a more animation style of thinking. And so you'll see now what will happen is I can come here to the middle. Uh, let's come down here, let's solo the bottom layer. Okay. And you'll see that my masks are pretty darn close to where they need to be. Not perfect, but we'll just come here, we'll just adjust them a little bit. It's a lot better than having to drag every single time. Okay, and I'm just scrubbing. I'm just sweeping through my initial keyframes, my A and B keyframes. And I'm going to get a nice uh, solid rotoscope, you know. Um, also, there's a lot of motion and this is really zoomed out, which is working in our favor. So we don't have to be super perfect. Let's unsolo that bottom layer now. Now what I want to do here is turn on that top layer like so. And then I want to come into our two text layers, just holding control to highlight them both. And I'm going to flip them both to multiply. And now we have a car go above our text that we have here. And that's how I brought the shadows back. If I didn't do the multiply, then I'm going to actually have to go in and um, bring the shadows in using mats and, and uh, blending mats as well too. If you guys like what you saw here, definitely let me know in the comments below. Be sure to check the links in the description for this footage as well as Video Copilot's plugin FX console, which I think every beginning After Effects artist needs to have in their arsenal. And I'll see you in the next video. I can't stop time for you. 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 Won't you get on my way? Get on my way. I don't need this right now. I don't need this right now